guys welcome to my channel today we will be creating a look don't know what kind of look I'm going for yet but we will decide that along the way along with primer from A to Z <laughs> let's just put it that way we will be deciding what we're going to use as we go so I think I want to use the milk hydro grip primer as my base. One pump. One pump. One pump. Part of pump. Whatever's left on the finger, just move it around. And rub that under the fingers. it over the eyes and the lips to make sure they're nice and primed. Alright, now we're going to let that sit for a second while I choose which foundation I would like to use today. Or tonight. It's like 10 o'clock at night whenever I'm filming this. I know what foundation we're going to use because we're going to use the concealer as well. We are going to use the Revolution Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid. It has medium to full coverage. That's about all I know about this foundation. But I'm in the shade F3. But it looks like so. Ooh, that primer made my eyeballs all sticky. Take a little bit. Dang it. about right we will not be doing a wear test or anything with this foundation since I'm doing it so late at night and I promise you I have better brushes on the way well we're gonna blend that out love hate relationship with this foundation it wears off on me so fast but I think it's because of the primers that I use I never use a gripping primer like I did today or tonight it down the neck all right next we're going to take a tad bit of concealer the same if I can find it there it is conceal and hydrate um radiance concealer in the shade c0 or co.2 We're gonna dab a little. I know my eyes look so red, but that's because it's so late. Okay. 
Five bit down the nose, keep his bow, chin, and forehead. And we're gonna take a beauty blender and dab that out. I like to do my eyes last because it's just so much easier and it gives it time to sit. Hold on, I'm trying to get a different mirror so I can you can see what I'm doing. Alright, time for the other under eyes. I need to take up my contacts, that's probably why my eyes are so red. Okay, I've got the concealer all blended out. And we have a nice base going. I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so the bronzer has been applied successfully. I'm, I like where it's at for now. Um, and now we're going to move on to the eyes. I feel like this one isn't talked about enough, so we're going to use it. It's the Lorella nine color eyeshadow palette and it looks like this has three shimmer shades and the rest are, or four shimmer shades and five mattes we're going to go in with this middle color right here as our transition shade oh that's a nice coppery color That one is successfully in that transition. This mirror is funky. Okay, we've got our transition shade on. Next, we're going to add... We're going to go purpley with this tone. So, we are going to add this deep purple right here. And apply it to the outer third. Once we have less product on the brush, work that into the crease. That's that's very pretty. I like that. Same thing on that eye. And we have a good little thing going here. 
Now we're going to take a small flat brush. Really needs to be cleaned off. I'll just use my shirt. We are going to take this shade right here because I want a bit of shimmer. Actually, yeah, we're going to take that shade. This has quite a bit of fallout. Should have done my eyes first. Yeah, this concealer is already creasing on me. Okay, we're going to take that same flat brush and go back into that dark purple that we used and put that on the lower lash line. on the other eye. And that is it for eyeshadows. We have a nice bronzy look going on here. I think. So, what we're going to do next is highlighter. We're going to use Makeup Revolution Self Highlighter Palette. We're going to use these three shades right here on the top row, the first three. And we're just going to take our brush and just run it through all three. And apply it to the high points of the face. A little bit on the nose, tip of the nose, and a little bit on the cupid's bow. Alright, next, we're going to spray our face with the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray to lock this all in place. Make it to where I can open up my eyes. Get it on the hair, always. I love it. All right, so we're gonna use two mascaras today, if I can find my other one. We're gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex on the top lashes. We're gonna do about two coats. And then on the bottom lashes, we're gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. Again, we're going to do about two coats. Sorry, I focus really hard whenever I do mascaras. Oh, 
Oh, I got a nose itch. Yeah, that foundation is just coming off. Not a good... It's a good foundation, don't get me wrong. It's a great foundation. Lots of people rave about it. My skin doesn't like it. And I don't even know why I chose to use it. Maybe just to show you what a bad foundation looks like on me? I'm not sure. But we're gonna go in with our second coat. Oh, wow, that's all we really need right there. Oh, yeah, definitely. two coats of the better than sex on the top lashes I always do ma mascara after setting spray ma primarily because it my eyelashes are so long that it will clump up here or leave marks up here whenever I go to look up or anything like that so we're going to take the roller lash on the bottom take one coat. Yeah, I think one coat's all we need. Okay, so that's the roller lash. I'm gonna wipe off foundation lips. recording a whole bunch of videos so that's why I'm doing this so late at night. Okay, we got all the foundation off the lips. And I have a very pinky lip shade naturally so we're just going to leave my lips as is we're not going to do a lip liner today or a lipstick or a lip gloss or anything like that we're just going to leave it as is and that is the finished look tell me what you think down in the comments if you would like to join the family please hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate